Although I'm not a developer, I can read and kind of understand code because, well, decades ago I had to learn some basic coding to use this machine. Anyway, yesterday my wife asked me to help her adjust a code she generated for her website using ChatGPT. And here's how Evernote helped me help her. If you go to the insert menu and choose code block, you see this box. You can also do it using a keyboard shortcut. And here we have it. And then I copied the code she had already generated. This is just a, a, a little part of it, uh, just a small sample. And wrote here original code. Next, I added some tags. She has a tag on my Evernote, it's her name. And I also added shot GPT. I did this for two reasons. First, I want to preserve the code she already created. I don't want to mess it up because like I said, I'm not a developer. And if in the future I need to find this old version of the code, it's going to be pretty easy. It has her name. It has the chat GPT tag. Next, I created uh, another note also with the same tags, the code box, and I pasted the code again and started tweaking it. Then I would tweak the code, copy it, paste it to her website, test it, go back, tweak it a little bit more. And when she was finally happy with it, I named, I titled this note with the same name of the page on her website. So I know that this one is the one that is working. I didn't see a reason to do this in this case, but another possibility here would be write something here explaining what is this, what happened, kind of a, a journal, because Evernote is a journal. This is how I see Evernote and that's why I created two notes and that's why I kept both notes. Everything is chronological. I can go back. Maybe, I don't know, maybe someday I'll need that other note. Who knows? <laughs> if this was useful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching. See you soon.